Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Today I thought it would be fun to take one dollar and see what I can purchase at Wholesome Choice. I'll try to feed myself for the entire day using only one dollar. My rules for this challenge, I'll be allowed to use dry spices and oil from my pantry cupboard. I know Wholesome Choice has great prices on produce and they do have a few whole foods in the bin section so this might work out. Many of you will notice Wholesome Choice as a market that I shop at frequently. It's an Iranian market near where I live, but what I haven't told you about is the delicious breads that they make, and specifically this Sangak bread, which is a long Persian flatbread. It's typically served either plain or with sesame seeds on top. My favorite is with the sesame seeds. On the weekends, there will be a huge line of people waiting to get a warm loaf of the bread as it comes out of the oven. Bread is extremely low cost to make, so I think in the future it would be fun to try to make that Sangak bread on my channel. But for now, let's look around and see what's on sale. There are some great prices on produce, but I should probably go ahead and start looking in the bins so I can find the items that are gonna fill me up the most and have the most protein. They have a great deal on peas for 79 cents a pound, but unfortunately, I still don't like peas, so I'm gonna pass on that. They've got quite a bit here. They also have chana dal for 99 cents a pound, so that's definitely an option. I've already made chickpeas, also known as garbanzo beans, on my channel quite a bit, so I'm going to pass on that. And I recently made uh, these mung beans, which I loved. Pinto beans, I definitely don't want to do that again. I want to do something different that I don't normally make. Oh, they've got this uh, masoor doll. So the red lentils for 99 cents a pound. So that is definitely doable. I might either do the red or the yellow lentils because I actually haven't made those before. I've, I've only cooked with the green lentils on my channel. And they have a little bit more over here. So I'm gonna see they've got anything. The problem with some of these items that they've got is they prepackage them. So like for the oatmeal and the rice, for example, this is not a bad price, 88 cents a pound. Well, it's a little bit more than we can get at Walmart, but I can't get out individual amounts. This Parawano beans, I don't think I've ever tried those. So that would be interesting, although they're $1.49 a pound. So Eating for a dollar a day is not easy, so I, I want to try to get as a low amount per pound as possible. Those black beans at $1.29, I believe that price pretty much was about what it was at Winco actually. any of you have tried the 13 bean soup mix or the multi bean soup mixes before but it doesn't seem like it would work out well because all of the beans cook at a different rate so I, I'm not sure about that I've never tried that and then the oats it would have been nice to be able to get a little bit out to do something for a breakfast but again they've got that pre-packaged so that's not gonna work out Okay, this is interesting. The pearl barley is 99 cents a pound. I've never cooked with that before. I do remember a Jamie Oliver video that I watched where he said you could basically use that like pasta and throw it into a soup. So maybe now is my chance to try using this. And especially at 99 cents a pound, that's gonna be about as cheap as we're gonna get here. We could also make a fresh summer salad with this barley, add a little bit of oil and vinegar and some dried herbs and maybe some tomato. 
I spotted these grapefruit for 59 cents a pound and I absolutely love red grapefruit and I was hoping to try to maybe squeeze that in somehow but I knew with the price per pound it probably wasn't going to work but I did go ahead and weigh out just to make sure uh, because I do love them so much but it just really didn't work out. Here is the food that I decided on for the day. It doesn't look like much, but I think I'm going to get a lot of mileage out of the lentils as well as the pearl barley. All of those have quite a few nutrients as well as high protein counts. I haven't cooked with these before, but I do think they'll be filling. It's going to be nice to be outside of my comfort zone for once and try something new. I ended up being four cents over my budget, so I'm going to go ahead and take some of the red lentils out and set those aside to eat another day. I'm going to fry up my breakfast potatoes extra crispy just so that I have that nice textural variation from the lentils. Okay, I feel like I'm using a crazy amount of spices here, but the cilantro is just going to be for the top uh, to garnish afterwards. And then I'm using garlic and onion because generally you use whole onion and garlic in this recipe, but I don't have that. So I'm just going to add a dash of that to the dish. And then I'm going to go ahead and dice up some of the tomato and 
cook that in the pan. I've got the garam masala and that does have some of the spices in there. So if you don't have any of all of these spices, honestly, I tasted the lentils as they were and they make a beautiful broth on their own. I love, love bean broth uh, just as it is. So you could simply eat it like that or add any of the spices that you want. But for this recipe, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of everything that I see that is normally added in the chana dal. I'm going to put some oil in a pan and just add the spices to the oil and just cook it for a little while to let the flavors kind of bloom in there. And then I'll add the tomato. I took a little of the chana dal out in order to mash it up with a, a hand masher and for some reason I didn't get it on video but that's what you're seeing here I added the whole lentils in and then I went in and added the mashed lentils and just added a really nice texture to the dish This dish was surprisingly delicate tasting. I thought it would be a lot spicier, but I was afraid to add too much spice because I, I didn't have that many lentils. So I couldn't really follow any kind of recipe. I just did about, you know, a dash of each spice. And so it ended up being absolutely delicious. And I find myself wondering why I'm not making lentils more often and really using these spices more. And it was nice for breakfast. The fact that it wasn't overly spicy and the nice crispy potatoes were a nice compliment to the dish. I wanted to show you guys these kitchen lights that I got from Amazon. They're the little round stick lights, but they come in a pack of six and I think I got them for 11 bucks. I will go ahead and link these below, but I really love them because they added a lot of extra light to my otherwise fairly dark kitchen and I'm trying to increase my light so that my filming is better but anyway I will link that I thought maybe some of you might want to get that for your kitchen I know I'm going to order some more for some other places in my house as well I don't think I've ever been so indecisive about what I was going to cook as I have been in this video. When I saw this pearl barley, I thought of a couple things. I thought about the Jamie Oliver video where he talked about using this like a pasta in a soup. And I thought, first, first off, I thought I would try that. But then I started thinking about using this in a salad. I remember Cheesecake Factory has a delicious salad that they make with a pearl barley. And so I thought about maybe trying to make that. But then when I tried this earlier, it was so tasty made with that vegetable broth that I really just wanted to eat it like this. So when I came back to this for my lunch, I just added more liquid and added a little bit of the green bean and some olive oil and plated it and had it as is. I definitely encourage you guys to try this if you haven't tried pearl barley yet. It definitely is filling and satiating. Uh, my son tried this and he said that it's such a great texture. It's got some bite to it so you don't want to overcook it or it'll just be mushy but it was a little bit al dente which is exactly how I like it and he said it would be great to be able to use this in like a chili maybe a vegetarian chili along with beans 
as that chewy component and I think that's a really great idea maybe we'll try that sometime later on the channel so this is basically what I have left for my dinner I couldn't decide did I want to make this red lentil curry or did I want to make a Turkish red lentil bride soup that I found that was going to be a little bit more of a soup like texture with a little bit lighter seasoning so I went back and forth on the two and I thought to myself I should go ahead and make the red lentil curry just because I've been wanting to try that for a while with the red lentils so I thought now would be the opportunity this time I'm going to go ahead and add all of my seasoning into a bowl I expect this to be much spicier than my breakfast dish so I'll be adding in the spices at the very end uh, just a little bit at a time only cooked these lentils for a few minutes and they were done. I planned to put my potatoes in and cook them with the lentils. However, the lentils ended up cooking too quickly, so I didn't want to overcook them and I just cooked the potatoes on the side to add in later. Next time I would have my tomato separate from the spices because I didn't want all of the spices. However, I definitely did want all of the tomato in there. I love making my green beans this way. They end up being little flavor bombs and made a great accompaniment for this dish. I added also a little bit of olive oil at the end and this would have been a delicious dish along with the chapati bread that I made on my channel a while ago. Some of you have asked me about the, this wooden spoon that I have. I purchased this online at Shine. I got it in a kit along with the chopsticks for $4 and also I wanted to tell you about these plastic silverware that they have at Walmart. I think it's, I'm not sure if it's picnic silverware or camping silverware but I really love it um, if you haven't tried using either wooden or spoons made out of hard plastic like this you should definitely try it it's something about eating with a utensil that doesn't conduct heat it's just for me it's a more pleasurable experience but definitely give that a try I love this dish it was very spicy and very good and I like the potatoes were cooked perfectly I love the addition of the green beans again when you have something that's this spicy it's good to serve it along with a flatbread or over rice 
The addition of the potatoes and the green beans really, I think, help to add balance to this dish. If you don't like spice or maybe curry isn't your thing, I definitely still encourage you to try lentils in different ways. It seems like every country has a different style of cooking their lentils and it's super fun to explore and try these new dishes. That's it guys. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next video.